Hello everyone, how you doing? Mercury here with uh, today's message. So what I want to speak about today is I want to speak about uh, Pat King's bail hearing scheduled for Monday the 18th. I also kind of want to speak about uh, the state of Canada and the convoy. Now, um, I just want to say, you know, I'm not a professional astrologer. I have taken an astrology course. I've spent many years following uh, the movements of the planets and really getting in sync with uh, the flow of the universe. Um, so uh, I have had uh, numerous predictions uh, that have come out accurately. Um, and, and yeah, so... I just want to mention as well that I'm not making any predictions here with uh, Pat King. Um, I will, however, um, give my perception to what I predict happening um, for the uh, affair for the state of Canada. Okay. So, um, what I have on the screen right here is I have it set for July 18th uh, at 9 a.m. in Ottawa, which is when Pat King's bail hearing is. Um, and so, I'm going to also have to bring us to some other charts to uh, better explain this and I'll even have to bring us back to um, January when the convoy started and uh, entered Ottawa okay so I'm just going to point some stuff out on this chart here uh, then we're gonna go look at these other charts we're gonna look at the Canada birth chart and uh, what was going on in um, January and February possibly February yeah sorry we'll get into February as well um, and what else did I want to talk about um, yeah well and then we'll come back to this chart uh, and better explain it once I've given you guys the back stories of looking at the other charts okay so in this chart here we have Pluto at 27 degrees Capricorn very important we have um, the Sun and Mercury opposing Pluto at this degree we have them both well all making an aspect to Neptune um, we got the moon actually traveling away from Neptune here. Ah, the moon is not so important. I was just thinking because it is showing a trine. Uh, and I do realize that the moon will be transiting over Jupiter as well as um, in a few days uh, transiting over the node Uranus and Mars. Okay, so uh, yeah, there's that. And Jupiter here is in a square to Black Moon Lilith. Um, so those are some of the things that I wanted to point out in this chart before looking at the other charts. Uh, I'm also going to mention that the moon here, uh, sorry, the sun is in Cancer. Uh, and the sun in a few days is going to be entering uh, Leo. So the moon is in its, has done at least two thirds of its moon cycle here, which would have started in Cancer. Uh, therefore, the full moon would have been in Capricorn, the next uh, moon cycle being Leo. So the full moon in Capricorn, which um, happened yesterday, last night, the 13th, okay, 
And on the 14th, uh, we both had both Pat King and Tamara uh, bail hearings. I, I'm not sure uh, yet about Tamara, but Pat King's has been moved um, for Monday. Actually, I feel like I even heard Tamara's for almost 10 days later the 24th or something um i'm not accurate on that and i haven't actually dove into that more um i can talk a little bit about it in regards to moon cycles uh why i was just mentioning moon cycles a minute ago the capricorn full moon is because i'm going to take us back to i'm going to do it on this chart here and take us back to january january um the convoy started on the 22nd but arrove in ottawa on the 29th according to wikipedia on the 29th here beginning on the 22nd so I'm just gonna bring the chart to the 29th and um, so I'll mention here that this moon cycle you can see that the moon is almost done it's catching back up to the Sun the Sun is in Aquarius so that means that if it's catching back up it's done a full cycle that means the Sun would have been in Capricorn uh, for the new moon that happened uh, that this moon cycle is finishing up so this is a Capricorn moon cycle and what did we just have yesterday the Capricorn full moon and both Tamara and um, Pat were in court so we're seeing how there is a yearly moon cycle the things that start uh, in the Capricorn sign um, come to fullness um, and you know it still has uh, that energy is still in play for six more months until we come back to the Capricorn moon cycle and not saying that those things will be wrapped up but um, those energies uh, you know one neat thing is the full moon just happened in Capricorn right so uh, some issues have come to its fullness and now need to kind of start dissolving or breaking down so you know hopefully that's uh, a sign of something good okay now I want to talk a lot about Pluto and Mercury so I was just mentioning Mercury and the Sun are opposing Pluto but here on the 29th when um, when the convoy arrived in Ottawa Mercury was actually conjunct Pluto okay so Mercury is the message messenger and Pluto Pluto at 27 degrees Capricorn um, this is a 248 year cycle and 248 years ago was 1776 when America got founded okay um, and if you go back 248 more years it's when the Spaniards took over the capital of the Aztec Empire Al Capoco so Pluto at this degree is the rise and fall of civilizations. Uh, I've spoken about this in other videos too, but leading up to both of those uh, situations, uh, both the Aztecs and um, America being founded, uh, smallpox was being spread uh, with blankets uh, to the natives. Uh, and I'm not sure the delivery system that the Spaniards used, but there again, um, the Spaniards brought smallpox over to the Aztec people so biological warfare goes hand in hand with 
Pluto at this degree. And so Mercury here is the truckers brought a message to Pluto also represents power, the plutocracy. Okay, so there was a message that the truckers brought to the powers and Capricorn is our institutions, our foundation, our structure. So, um, yeah, the truckers, Mercury also coincidentally rules transportation and trade. Uh, what I mean by trade is like our financial markets and stuff like that. Um, so here a message was brought to the powers uh, in the institutions. And now I'm going to go to February 11th to start. So on February 11th, uh, Trudeau threatened about the Emergency Act, but Doug Ford actually called a state of emergency, as you can see down here. Uh, I'll point out the date too. The date, February 11th, over there. Okay, so February 11th, uh, Trudeau threatens the state of emergency and Doug Ford calls the state of emergency. And Mercury has now gone retrograde and back direct back uh, to connect with Pluto again. So now it's uh, the powers returning their message, um, an announcing, right? Making an announcement. Um, and yeah, on the 14th when uh, Trudeau actually calls the emergency act, in uh, Mercury is at the very end of Capricorn, just about to move into Aquarius. So finishing up that that Capricorn um, powers announcing, making announcements kind of deal was going on. Uh, Venus and, and uh, Mars, I'm just going to mention, they had a very rare conjunction where they actually traveled uh, basically together for over five weeks and these are our polarities so um, you know male and female energy but just opposite polarities uh, we're dealing with a lot of things going on here um, yeah so is there anything else I wanted to talk about here? I don't really feel so. So, uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to point those things out and give you some backstory on uh, Mercury. So let's go back to 9 a.m. ish on the 18th. Um, let's also go to Canada this is Canada's birth chart 1867 July 1st okay so what I want to point out here is I want to point out where Pluto and Saturn is um, so Pluto's at almost 16 degrees and Saturn is at almost 18 degrees uh, Taurus and Scorpio at the time of uh, Canada's birth or whatever okay so Pluto is death and rebirth transformation in the sign of Taurus Taurus is uh, an earth sign and it's uh, it rules more the surface level of things uh, and values like uh, we see the bull on Wall Street uh, so it kind of rules over money but values more so I, I like using values because I personally believe that money is on the way out that uh, our value system will turn into community over commodity okay because you know, you could have all the money in the world, but it means nothing if you have no, no one to share it with. 
But when you have a large community, you're rich in life. And um, that's where I think the future is headed um, through my astrological perception on things. But anyhow, yeah, Pluto and um, Saturn. Now, on June 30th, when, when um, James Top arrove in Ottawa, Let's go back to that for kicks. June 30th, Taurus, we have Uranus. You know, I didn't even really need to go back, but Uranus is in Taurus, uh, where we had Pluto um, on Canada's birth chart, and which would be opposing Saturn. Now, Saturn's the authority, um, even though Pluto represents power of the plutocracy, Saturn is still the authority, uh, and yeah, there's a lot of things, because even Uranus, okay, Pluto is death and rebirth transformation, when um, Uranus is shocking change, uh, Uranus rules energy, Pluto rules power, so there are similarities in uh, the energies of the planets, but they're they're a little bit more specific, um, uh, which helps read things. But uh, yeah, when we have Uranus and and Pluto doing a conjunction, okay, uh, in Taurus, there is shocking uh, changes and deep transformations happening on the surface level. Uh, that is challenging our authorities who our own self-authority too who is in the sign of Scorpio which is Pluto's sign so um, those authorities are is going through some challenges as well a death and a rebirth and um yeah, you know, on on June 30th, we see the moon, our emotions, uh, opposing Pluto, our power, uh, with Mars right in the middle. Mars is uh, passion, but Mars uh, represents the soldier, like James Top, a marching forward. Uh, so um, I really kind of feel like what happened over the weekend we may not see it yet but that uh change of that transformation um in the authority over the lands on the surface level of things is changing so uranus is slow moving and uranus will stay at this position for a while um but there's some action going on currently with that uh, all the way to the end of this month where Mars actually joins up let's go back to the 18th here so Mars joins up with Uranus and the node now the node the node is a fictional point in the sky but it's one of the most important things in astrology the node is the direction that we are headed Okay, and the node, how it's calculated is the sun. Let me just, uh, I want to see my face. The sun moves through the universe on a trajectory. That trajectory, uh, and we're going to look at this in a two dimensional uh, aspect. Planets go circle, you know, around the sun as it's moving. So on a two dimensional, it's up and down, right? And when we have a new moon or a full moon close to that trajectory, when the moon uh, lands uh, close uh, on that line, that's uh, when we have eclipses. And, and so that's the, the node 
uh, point. It's an 18 and a half year cycle approximately. And if you go back from March, uh, late March of 2020, uh, where, you know, COVID restrictions hit the general public, if you go back 18 and a half years, it brings you to September of 2001. Uh, and we all know September 11th, um, something huge happened, which can be viewed as a controlled demolition. And is that what's going on again? I kind of believe so. Okay. So, um, yeah. What's going on with Pat? I feel like we're not going to get our answer here. Um, I feel like we're going to get our answer, though, before Friday. Because Friday at 4 p.m., the sun moves into Leo. Um, so right now it's in Cancer. Cancer is about the home, but it's also about security. And it could be even viewed as homeland security. Okay. Um, I forgot to mention... However, on the 19th, so on Tuesday, Mercury actually moves uh, into Leo. So maybe there is an announcement made. Maybe Pat King is free and he's making the announcement. Because Leo, the king, right? The rulers, uh, it's a sign of creativity as well and all that. So perhaps, uh, uh, you know, we are getting some news. Um... Perhaps uh, Pat is freed and we are getting to hear from him on Tuesday morning. Um, I can't say for sure. Now, here is where I view um, something bad more so. Uh, uh, not so positive. Um outcome uh you know i should also mention venus entered uh cancer when uh you know venus in cancer isn't so important venus uh rules libra lady liberty um so you know that could be something good here uh venus also rules Taurus uh, wh where we have all this other stuff going on so this actually may be uh, something good but the thing that I want to mention that uh, is somewhat perhaps alarming is Jupiter square Lilith okay so I'm gonna bring you to this right here Jupiter square Lilith you can feel tension brewing between your ideas and desires for freedom and situations that force you to contend with the status quo. Okay, You can work to show your great influence and talents. You know you are born for great accomplishments, but you may have to overcome self-sabotage and misdirected rage first. You may get lost in your desires for pleasure and freedom and you will and will have to work through some struggles between personal desire and the good for society. Now, you know, the first one, you can feel tension brewing between your ideas and desires for freedom and situations that force you to contend with the status quo. Okay, so what does that mean exactly? Is that on the freedom fighters or is that on society who's condemning um, Pat King, you know? Just something interesting to consider there. Now, um, we will be moving into... Uh, a new moon in Leo. Yeah, um, let's check the date here. So this new moon in Leo is actually going to be happening after uh, Tamara, Tamara Leach's uh, trial. 
but most of the convoy happened in an Aquarius moon cycle. Okay, it started in Capricorn, uh, and therefore that's why I was pointing out the Capricorn full moon and the and the bell hearings. But most of the convoy, uh, and especially the emergency act, happened during an Aquarius moon cycle. And so the full moon, uh, the new moon being in Leo, the full moon this time will be in Aquarius two weeks later. Um, and Aquarius is the sign of the rebel, of the movement. So we're going to see, I feel, the movement um, come out and shine again, right? Uh, yeah, the, the movement is going to be hit hitting some kind of fullness uh, in August being the Aquarius full moon um, being in the heart of the Lion's Gate Leo season a very potent manifesting time of year where it takes courage Leo courage right 